back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Project 404 ROM on this device. And in the Android version section, if you notice up close, on the top we see the Project 404 logo. Looks pretty cool, I would say. There is the Android version as Android 10 and the 404 version over here says 3.0. I mean 404 version 3.0, don't get confused. This is the 404 version code, Miss Q or something. And then we have the 404 build number. And the security patch over here is August 5th, 2020. And the stock kernel here is Azure Perf Plus. And if you wanna know which build is this, let me show you. This is the 18th August, 2020 build. And if you wanna see the change logs, you can of course see it from here, I guess. And as you can see, you can simply read out the change logs, of course. Let me go back from here. It says clean flash required firmware and gapps are not inbuilt. So you will need to like flash with the latest firmware and you will need the open gapps which I have used over here. The version was ARM64 10.0 nano gapps and I have flashed it with the Orange Fox R11 recovery. So if you wanna flash this ROM, make sure to watch this video from the cards right here and just like flash the gapps after you flash the ROM. So that's it, that's all you have to do. And in the system panel, we do have a system updater from where you can check for updates. Looks pretty simplistic. Let me go back and in the, the keyboard section, as you can see, this is the AOSP keyboard, which is present by default, not the Google keyboard because this ROM simply does not include GApps. So default keyboard here is AOSP keyboard. I do not have a problem with that, but I'm just mentioning it. In the gesture section, we have the activate the torch while long pressing the power button. So this is working totally fine. This is the long press for toggle torch. And inside system navigation, we have the gesture navigation option. And from here, there is the settings. But as you can see, there is no option to change or like increase the size of the pill bar. So that is how it is. And here we have the two or three button navigation. And you can hide the pill bar over here to like if you want to use the full screen real estate. You can just use this full screen gestures so that will hide this pill bar. Then we have the swipe to screenshot and let me show you this is the oxygen is kind of screenshot again where we do have the share edit scrolling and delete option. Then we have the playback control and stuff and other things are there like prevent ringing and jump to camera. Talking about camera well the stock camera is this kind of old google camera as you can see but it does work fine with the front camera and stuff you can notice the like camera should be working fine but i would definitely recommend you go with anx camera and flash it i mean this is a pretty basic camera i won't use it as my daily driver camera this is the default wallpaper that you are looking at over here and talking about the stock launcher let me show you which launcher is this this is the p404 launcher over here and let me show you the settings we have the notification dots then add icon to home screen and stuff double tap to sleep anywhere is there so that is a good thing and here we have these mini customizations but let me show you the app drawer i could not find this like suggestions panel disabling option so that is one point that i should mention over here i could not just simply find this like disabling option of this panel to the left of the home screen we still have the google's discover page of course swiping down gets you to the notification or quick settings panel and swiping up gets you to the app drawer and the widgets are actually working fine in the home screen now double tapping anywhere makes the phone sleep so that is a very cool thing let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed just right now so it unlocked let me try it again let's try again and again so yeah with the left hand's index finger it is working fine now it's time for the right hand's index finger and as you can see it unlocked fine let's try again unlocked fine let's try it again and it unlocked fine so the fingerprint scanner is 100% working flawlessly, no issues. Talking about the quick settings panel, this is how it looks like and you can just edit and add more toggles from here. And as you can see, there is the screen record option, but I personally simply could not find the FPS info option over here. That is one thing that I want to mention. Otherwise, the heads up and stuff, you can disable it from here. And the dark theme is working totally fine. And in terms of the screen recording again, as you can see, this is how it looks like. You can change the audio source to internal or microphone. Then like you can enable or disable taps and you can shoot videos up to 20 Mbps. I mean, I would say rather you can record the screen up to like 20 Mbps bitrate. Now, in terms of the settings and stuff, as you can see in the battery settings, this is how it looks like. We still do not have any charging cycle and stuff, but there is the screen usage or screen on time. Then last full charge when you did that. Then status bar battery indicator is there and as you can see we have this 
battery style so you can change the battery icon to anything else from here like let me choose the circle and the battery percentage you can change that to next to the icon and stuff and as you can see we have this quick setting battery percentage too if you want to see that so that is very cool it is like the customizations of the battery is hidden inside this battery settings and here we have the battery manager option and then battery saver then we have the thermal profile which is like per app battery customization you can see the full usage of the battery from just uh, by tapping over here and the font over here looks very cool in my opinion let me go into the display settings and inside quick setting panel we have the column and row number customization for the quick settings panel here we have the brightness level dark theme night light and adaptive or auto brightness is there then we have the screen timeout so you can change it to anything else we do not have the lock screen timeout for some reason here and then colors and stuff is there then small width screen saver etc is there inside lock screen display we do have this always on and stuff you can change it to always on or while charging i have in i have it in all while charging then we have the pulse settings this is some kind of pulse notification i guess then we have the double tap to wake and it is working totally fine with the double tap to wake let me show you quickly as you can see double tap to sleep and double tap to wake both are working fine here in the sound settings let me scroll down we have the touch vibration then screen locking sound and stuff the me audio direct is not here vibrate on calls and stuff is there now inside security one thing that will surely disappoint you is that there is no face unlock in 2020 when you are using a custom rom i mean in all other like most other custom roms there is face unlock but here i simply could not find the face unlock so yeah if you're someone who does not use the face unlock at all you are really fine with it because the fingerprint scanner just works flawlessly here now the other things that i want to mention over here the rom actually performs really fast and smooth this is a very light rom if you want to go with a very like little customizable rom this is a perfect rom for you and there is actually a lot less customizations but there are important features like that double tap to sleep anywhere and stuff these kind of things does make a difference and this rom is fast and snappy so if you are looking for a very fast and snappy very less customizable rom this will be a perfect option for you now let me talk about the drm info quickly and as you can see the drm info shows as level one here so you should not be having any problem with like streaming netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p and in terms of like the safety net as you can see it says passed so that means you can use banking apps like google pay right out of the box you should not worry about that and in terms of the ir bluster yes this is working totally fine with the ir bluster too so that is not a problem you can use the ir bluster present in this room without any issues there is this able kind of thing over here which is a music player i guess so you can definitely use this music player if you really are into music and stuff and by the way this google's recorder app as you can see does work fine over here so that is not an issue it does transcript the audio as you can see so yeah this google's recorder app is actually working super fine but something that will disappoint you is that there is no me audio dirac or at least i could not find that in the settings quickly and inside network we do have this show net activity in status bar and stuff so if you're someone who likes to use it that way you can do that and inside styles and wallpapers these are the things that you get and inside style let me show you you can set a custom theme and there are the like system fonts over here that you can change so let me hit next and you have these four icons and there you have the accent colors over here of this rom and you can like change the accent color to like you can just choose one and hit next and create a custom theme which will like get you a new accent color in a theme inside clocks we have plethora of clock options so yeah pretty much a lot of clocks are there i mean not a lot but six clocks are there which is pretty fine in my opinion in terms of lock screen clock customizations and inside this on device wallpapers we get bunch of options as you can see they definitely look pretty cool there is the ufo one and there is this one too i think this is the default one and then there is the project 404 wallpaper then again this is a very cool light looking project 404 wallpaper looks very cool in my opinion so yeah this is a very good rom in my opinion if you are someone who wants a really light kind of rom over on the redmi note 7 pro this would be a really perfect option for you guys the performance over here is very snappy i'm not showing you guys the ram management and stuff they are totally fine and if you want to see the benchmarks here are the benchmark scores of this rom and on this rom we do still have the advanced reboot so if you want to have that you just like go to the power menu and tap and hold on the restart section and as you can see then you will find the directly rebooting option to recovery or fast boot 
and this is how the volume panel looks like and you can expand it just like this as you can see so this is pretty cool the volume panel does look cool to me at least and on this volume panel you can put the phone into vibrate or silent just from here so yeah Vaulty calls and stuff should be working fine, so that is not a problem here. So that's been it guys about the Project 404 ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.